Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This is another one from that four-year-old pile. My apologies for not getting to them back then, but they're such interesting questions that I thought other people would like to know how to do that. This is from Jim Linder, AJ6ER. says, Hi Dave, thanks for all you do. I want to make a tower for a wire antenna, inverted V, or the high point of an NFED half wave, from fence post tops like you did. We use chain link fence steel top rail, and you can get them from Home Depot in 10 foot lengths, and they fit into each other. You can put the thing up, you need to guy it to keep it up, you can guide it at the 20 foot point. Now he asks, why can't we go to 30 feet? And the answer is, we tried. <sighs> very wiggly, very wiggly, uh, too wiggly. And that's because we guide it only at the top. If you guide at the top and down at the 20 foot point, I think you'll be okay, as long as it doesn't come apart on you while you're trying to put it up. What we did instead was we took some plans from Stephen Klein, did a video called a 30 foot mast using Home Depot parts. And that's video number 1018. And we built this thing and it does work. A little bit wobbly, but we have it guide both at the top and halfway up. Okay, to try and keep it the way it's supposed to be. This gives us a 30 foot mast. Now there are already built masts that will go up to 30 feet. Again, you need to guide them. Okay, and you can get up to 30 feet. Also, if you get those little four foot lengths, they're sometimes fiberglass, sometimes aluminum. They're actually designed to hold camouflage net up. So they're very light, but you can go up pretty high on that. You need to guide them about every 10 feet that they go up so that they don't topple over on you. You gotta remember it's gotta handle not only its own weight, but the weight of whatever you put on top of it or a string from it that makes the thing work. I like the 30 foot masts. 20 foot masts are a little low, but they're super easy to do. But if you want to go up to 30 feet, you certainly can do it, but I'd go with the instructions for this or else get one of those pre-made masts. Let's see if we can find it. This mast right here collapses Okay, it's got several sections on. Note that it's got guy plates all the way through up. You simply turn these, pull the section out, turn it again to hold it in place, okay? And you can guy them quite a bit. We guide it at the top and about halfway down. This is $260 for a quote easy up 33 foot, two inch, two inch at the bottom, telescoping mast. We did have to guy it because we were pulling on it from the side at the top. This is at one end of a NFED halfway band antenna. And the 1018 video right here is for the other one at the other end. So the bottom line here is that if you use the chain link fence top rail, you're going to have a problem with wiggleness. Okay, 20 feet works out fine, but 30 feet didn't work for us. I was afraid to put it up that it would just bend and come on down. The stainless steel top rail is not meant to be strong or anything like that. It's designed to just hold up the metal fabric on the chain link fence. I am told that at Lowe's you can get 20 foot sections of this. So you might try a 20 foot in conjunction with the 10 foot and see how high you go. If you try and put the two 20 foots together, you're most definitely going to have to guide that in the middle and at the top. Now for guy rope, please don't use ordinary parachute cord because it stretches. You want to get the right kind of rope and get it from DX Engineering. Make sure that thing is pretty solid. Now the stakes I use to hold this to the ground are called concrete form stakes and you can get them at uh, Home Depot, I presume at Lowe's, they're metal, they're solid metal, okay? You can get them in two foot lengths, three foot lengths. I'd go up to three foot for the top guys, okay? And they got holes drilled into them. So once you get the thing pounded in the ground, you can put a nail through and then wrap your wire below that and it won't slip off, okay? So 
I hope that answers your question. I have a feeling you've already tried it by now. Now, sinking the bottom into a few feet of cement, I think the problem you're going to have there is you've got a shear point right where it comes up out of the cement and the thing can bend like that very easily. These things have to be guyed rather than just put into uh, cement at the bottom. Even towers are guyed. By the way, what you're looking at here is a mast, and a mast is just the part that you hook the antenna to. A tower is usually a triangular structure that goes up. There are towers that are extension towers that are round, and they're usually hooked to a hydraulic machine that can lengthen them and bring them back down. Those are quite expensive. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.